The Arachne was an agile cruiser carrier combination craft that, alongside Revenant gunships and Cerberus carriers, made up the versatile core of Cylon fleets. At first glance, the class seemed to be a Cylon take on a larger, more capable adamant frigate. It had a similar, well-rounded loadout of guns, missiles, and hangar facilities, but there were a number of key differences. Larger guns in a different layout, much faster missile reload, as well as access to advanced Cylon electronic warfare munitions and countermeasures. Its hangars were also side-mounted. The class's main armament was made up of five medium guns, with three mounted along its spine and two on its nose. These guns allowed the ship to pick its targets. They were fast enough to be effective against frigates and corvettes, but still had the punch to pose a threat to large targets. Not even Vipers were safe from an Arachne, since all Cylon guns were extremely accurate. Despite this, in a straight fight against a gunship like the Minotaur, the Arachne would lose. Against craft like these, the class could use its superior mobility to skirt just outside the opponent's range, peppering them with constant missile fire in order to soften them up or drive them away. The main weak point of the class was its underside, as there was no gun coverage there and the armor was only average. Missiles and raiders could be used against anything that managed to get below, but the ship was manoeuvrable enough to prevent an enemy flanking from that angle in the first place. What few colonial craft could get there, such as the Manticore, couldn't do too much damage anyway as their guns were very light. A torpedo strike from that direction could be damaging, but a colonial ship maintaining such strikes to fully punch through the Arachne's armor while it was maneuvering would be a challenge. Since the larger, near immobile base stars were relatively fragile and used more for long range support, cruisers like the Arachne were used as the Cylon skirmishing front line. While they were unable to take sustained gunfire, their superior mobility, range, and continuous missile fire allowed them to stay on the edge of where colonial forces could effectively engage. The class was not solely limited to this role. They could head up smaller fleets, acting as the linchpin that Talon carriers and Nemesis corvettes worked around. In larger battles, rather than directly engaging colonial forces, they could stay further back and play a protective role for base stars, using Scorpion deployable turrets and Comet PCMs to destroy and divert incoming colonial missiles. Arachnes were not only used by the Cylons for ship-to-ship -ship warfare, in fact, they were first sighted by colonial forces over Sagitteron, where it was discovered they were using their missile launch capabilities for long-range chemical bombardment of the planet. Cylon ships capable of orbital bombardment? Despite looking suspiciously like a Battlestar, the origin of the class was unknown. Some early war Cylon ships were clearly duplicated colonial designs, such as the Revenant, which was a copy of a gunship the Cylons captured, and the Talon, which appeared to be derived from obsolete frigates that were discarded years before the war. There is no such lineage for the Arachne. Was its design an attempt by the Cylons to copy the Jupiter class after they captured the Galactica, or was something more nefarious going on? Perhaps Sin and Cade, revealed to be providing them with ship designs, was responsible for it. This would explain the similarity to colonial vessels, as it may have originally been a colonial design for a smaller battle star that Cade handed over to the Cylons. No matter where the design originated, it was a formidable opponent for the Colonials, thanks to the seemingly endless barrages of missiles from a craft that could simply glide away from the slower battle stars. Despite the Arachne's success stemming from its versatility, the Cylon Doctrine was trending towards much more specialized craft, with designs that were far removed from their colonial ancestors. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more. Thanks!